Hello folks, uh, this is the question of 2018 Mason paper 2 2 and the question number is 2. It is concerned with the chapter of uh, dynamics. So the first question is uh, number A, uh, what to say is state the principle of conservation of momentum. So we are not going through that, we are mainly concerned with the uh, numerical part of the problem. So it says that a stationary firework explodes into three different fragments. So stationary firework somewhere here, it splits into three different fragments that move in a horizontal plane. So this is the horizontal plane as illustrated in figure 2.1. So this is figure 2.1. The fragment of mass 3.0 m. 3.0 m has a velocity of 7 meter per second perpendicular to line AB. So this is line AB. It is perpendicular. The fragment of mass 2.0 m has a velocity of 6.0 meter per second 6.0 meter per second at angle theta to line AB so at angle theta to line AB and the fragment of mass 1.5 m has a velocity of 8.0 meter per second at an angle theta to line AB once again but it is at the other side so we have to uh, use the principle of conservation of momentum to determine the angle theta the principle, according to the principle, so what we must have is, if a body is traveling like this, in this direction, uh, both before collision and after collision, we have that uh, the momentum is conserved in that particular direction. So that was, uh, uh, in order to say, it is one dimensional equation. So here, we have a two dimensional uh, type of motion here. So what we do is, let's uh, calculate uh, the, let's uh, consider for, for now, uh, let's consider only in the horizontal direction, horizontal direction. So in the horizontal, we have the momentum of this thing is equal to, it is, uh, it is mass is 2, 2.0, mass is 2.0 m, m uh, into velocity is uh, into 6.0 and uh, the component of this velocity is uh, in this direction is 6.0 cos of theta should be equal to should be equal to so this side it will be 1.5 m into 8.0 again it is cos of theta so since it is reverse uh, actually it is actually this minus this equal to 0 but uh, uh, I have uh, I have changed this I have uh, switched its side to other side so equation like this and it does not have any component in the horizontal direction so this does not come into picture now if I consider uh, this direction in this direction I should have I should have uh, 7.0 sorry sorry 3.0 3.0 m into 7.0 should be equal to the components of these things over here so it should be it should be uh, 2.0 m into 6.0 uh, 6.0 6.0 6.0 uh, 6.0 uh, sine of theta plus plus it is 8.0 sorry 1.5 1.5 m into 8.0 8.0 sine of theta once again so these are the two equations so these are the two equations. So by solving these two equations, we can obtain the value of theta. So if I consider, uh, if I consider the second one, what I have is seven. Uh, so first we have to cancel this m, this m, m, and m goes. So then I will have three seven zero twenty one equal to. 2 6 is 12 sine theta sine theta plus again I have uh, this uh, 1.5 into 8 is again 12 sine theta and that's equal to 24 sine of theta which gives me sine of theta is equal to 21 by 24 so this gives me theta is equal to so we have uh, we have uh, theta is equal to theta is equal to shift sine inverse 
21 divided 24 bracket is equal to 61.04 degree so it is 61 degrees here so theta equal to 61 degree now in the second question i have to find the k of fragment of mass 2.0 m this and the k of a fragment of mass 1.5 m so this is equal to this is equal to 1 by 2 into mass so mass is 2.0 m into its velocity is 6.0 square divided again 1.2 into its mass is 1.5 m into its velocity is here it is 8 so it is 8.0 square so this gives us 1 by 2 into gone so m and m gone it will be so 2 into 6 is a 36 equal to divided 1.5 into 8 it's a 64 64 bracket equal it is 0 0.75 so 0 0.75 the ratio is 0 0.75 only so we can have a lots of question from this uh, situation but for ease what they have done is they have just included this much questions only